Hey guys. So we're getting ready to go on our next trip. And you know, when we're going on a trip with fish addictions, we really never know what we're gonna run into. So I just kinda wanna go through with you guys how I pack for a trip, you know, like you guys would for a weekend trip. Uh, the difference is gonna be that we're gonna be fishing panfish and possibly walleyes. So I'm gonna be packing for both. So I'm just gonna kinda let you guys know how I do it. So the first thing we gotta do guys is just think about what kind of conditions are we gonna be fishing in? And we've been sitting over the top of a cold front and this cold front changes things drastically in my head. It's not always the case, but in a lot of cases, fish get a little sluggish, but that doesn't mean we quit fishing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've, I just got back from Lake of the Woods. I'm kind of going through everything here and we're using, using things like the big eyeball spoon, some rattle baits, you know, just different spoon size stuff. So I'm kind of going through things and thinking, what am I gonna do here? How, how am I gonna attack this? The puppet minnow. When we went up to Lake of the Woods, we were on a cold front just like we have now, but it was the front end of this cold front. Basically, I was still using baits that were probably a little bigger than I would use now. So I'm gonna downsize things. I'm gonna go a little bit more discreet with my jigging cadences, even to dead sticks on these walleyes. So I'm packing things like like the doodle bug, you know, I'll, I'll still keep the puppet minnow on and I'll probably downsize some of these other spoons. I got Lake of the Woods, actually, we were fishing the doodle bug, you know, so on these cold fronts, downsize, slow things down and really just minimize the action. And a lot of times that pays off even to a dead stick. And I'm not afraid to dead stick a perch eye or or the doodle bug, or even down to a tungsten, like a, like a punch fly even. Now on the crappie end of things, it's kind of the same thing. I love, if you guys watch Fish Addictions, you know I love fishing spoons. I love fishing these smaller buck shots. I love fishing the doodle bug and the eyeball spoon. All great spoons to fish for crappies and panfish. Even big bluegills love spoons. Again, we're sitting on this cold front. Most of the time when we're fishing bluegills, we're fishing probably a little bit shallower water than we are even crappies over a basin or walleyes, which in my mind and in, in my theory is that affects the fish, the shallower water that you're fishing, the more it's gonna affect these fish. So I like to downsize something to like the gill getter or the muska jig or even the punch fly, which is by far my favorite, favorite panfish jig. And just again, slow it down to the point where you're just barely touching the end of your rod. You know, if we take the steps to be more successful, something as simple as downsizing your presentation, you're gonna be more successful on the ice. It's gonna pay off more than it doesn't. Now you still gotta find the fish. You still gotta put the work in. But today's world with our electronics, with our maps, with our know-how, you'll be successful. Just don't do tons of drastic things when you're on a cold front like this. So guys, we're going out, we're filming an episode in the middle of this cold front. This is how I'm preparing just wanted to give you guys a little tip so hopefully you guys are more successful on the lake when you guys go out. Guys, everything we talked about in this little tip video you can find at northlandtackle.com. They've got everything you need from ice fishing, all the way from the swag to wear out on the ice to everything to catch those fish. Remember, northlandtackle.com.